But we do start here at five with cases of what's called swatting sweeping across Oklahoma today. Several law enforcement agencies have been responding to active shooting threats that turned out to be fake. News 9's Chris Yu joins us live in the studio with which schools were targeted. Chris? Yeah, Kobe, let's start north of us. Now, Stillwater Police say this morning they got a call about an active shooter at the junior high, but a school resource officer on site confirmed that it was a hoax. And the same story at Perry Junior High and Enid High School. Investigators say the swatting continued in Grand County, which got a bogus call claiming there was an active shooter at Medford School. Now, moving to the southern edge of the state, where police say dispatch got an automated call claiming there was an active shooter at Ardmore High School. An hour away in Durant, the high school there was the target of a fake shooting threat as well. Now, Lawton Public Schools also was a target of a hoax, according to the district. Now, let's head to Tulsa, where first responders went to Will Rogers High School for a fake 911 call. Now, north of that is Bartersville, where police say they got a hoax call about an active shooter at the high school. Now, finally, in the northeastern edge of the state, Miami police say they also got a bogus call as well claiming there was an active shooter at the junior high. It traumatizes the parents, it traumatizes the children. It trauma uh, we have a large law enforcement response that comes out not knowing what situation they're getting to, coming in heavy, armed, expecting the worst case scenario, only to find out that it's, it's, a, it's a hoax. It's not for real. Um, and it's a drain on law enforcement because while all those resources are going to a place where nothing's happening, they don't know that, other things could be happening for real that it, it takes them away from. Now, swatting incidents are happening not just in the Sooner State, but across the country today. The FBI says the agency is working with law enforcement to find those responsible. Live in the studio, Chris Yu, Oklahoma's own News 9.